oh, this is what I want to talk about because it's insane. And I don't ever really care about the Taylor Swift stuff. But did you see the Travis Kelsey's PR person? Yes. Yeah. Dude. Crazy. Ever. Okay. So I mean, what are you what are you thinking? Like, what are you? So if you guys don't know, Travis Kelsey's PR person uh, reposted a picture for her birthday. You know how when people post birthday pictures, it's like repost all of them. Mm -hmm. She reposted one of her best friend and the main picture was a picture of the PR girl in the back, like behind in the um, the box at one of the Chiefs games and Taylor Swift's in it. And they put a clown emoji over Taylor Swift's face. The girl reposts it. The PR girl reposts it. And then did you see her rebuttals for yeah, it? Yeah, we, you know, she just, she just, um, first of all, it was somebody else he reposted it for. Mm -hmm. Why the f a PR person's. She like, has like 2,000 followers. Like who needs to be running your account? Second of all, she said, oh no, would she just use a random sticker? I don't no, even know what said, the clown means. Um, uh, a birthday clown. A birthday clown. Uh -huh. Birthday clown. <laughs> birthday all clown does Taylor not Swift. exist. No. A birthday clown. A clown is a clown, especially, we know what we're doing here. Yeah. And that's the worst. It's uh, it's ironic that she's a PR person because that's the worst PR stance on all of it. That's what we were saying. It's double like down on two things. Crazy. How could you be anyone's PR person if you don't even know how to PR for yourself? And then there's a there's a bunch of conspiracies because guess who she used to work for? Scooter Braun. Oh. Scooter Braun. Oh. So that's probably why she hates T-Swizzle. This industry's small, man. Dude, crazy. And now, okay, so <laughs> she... So Dave has a conspiracy and Dave's conspiracy is that she is a mole for all of like the U.S. Weekly or People magazine, uh, page six. They all have posted super positive stuff about Taylor and Travis mm -hmm. like throughout this whole time. And then when this got posted um, and all of this came out, now they're posting negative. They were never posting any negative. So Dave thinks that she was the insider feeding them all the information about the relationship. And now she he thinks that she's getting fired by Travis, obviously. Yeah. And now she's feeding him them bad information. Ah, He's a little Detective D. Inside Hollywood. Crazy. Two, two D. Crazy. Wow. And I just can't believe she used to work for Scooter Braun. Um, this is juicy to me. This is crazy. Uh, Chicks in the Office goes, I saw a clip. I think they said that um, Taylor never speaks on her own behalf about things, just yeah. in songs. So when they're saying like sources closest Taylor say, mm -hmm. yeah, that's her. Yeah. Or yeah. Taylor's Taylor's guys. Yeah. Did that's you see Taylor Swift's? I mean, um, dude, I love this drama. <laughs> uh, Selena Gomez uh, allegedly thinks that they're moving too fast. Bestie. Look, she, she said um, going to games and gallivanting through New York immediately after just meeting Travis is something that's very unlike her. Hmm. Hmm. Page it's a six. Bold statement. And Dave is that directly confirmed. from her mouth? Dave, I trust Dave with all of these facts because he would never speak wrongly on mm -hmm. it. And yeah. All right, Selena. Selena's really bitter. Um, not gonna lie, she's all over the internet screaming for a man. And oh yeah. I don't really want to say that because I sound like a woman hater like all the time, but <laughs> I, I see where she's coming from with that. God bless this broken road. I just hope that everything's okay. And I want to know more. I want to know more about this. Uh, her name's Pia. That's a publicist. I want to know more about her. We should get her on the pod. Let's get her on the pod. We should get her on the pod. She, she, nobody else is going to give her the, the time of day. We tried to, to get talk. her on BFFs, but she said no. No cameras right now. No cameras right now. No, but this is a safe place. Who's we running her account? No one's running your account. No one's running your account. And then I was like, okay, maybe she's a PR genius. Mm. More eyes on them. Maybe she I meant mean, to do I, this. I, it's hard to get more eyes. I mean, I it's impossible. Like, the people who care about this are already in on I it. I know, but how could you make that mistake of posting that? Truly. She's a, I mean, PR, one of the first things you learn in PR is details. Yeah. You gotta pay attention to the details. Like, I mean, that is not even a detail. That is the main, pay, like, that is, like, the main thing. The clown emoji. It's just, like, insane. <sighs> I mean, gosh. How screwy. Yeah, how screwy is that? That's screwy. I think it's pretty screwy. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Now I'm just like, why is everyone, why is everyone, I feel bad for Taylor. Yeah, I know. Imagine, That's not fair. Imagine your boyfriend's PR person doing that. And then you're like, oh my God, are they all talking about me behind my back? Yeah. Wow. It's f***ed up. I'm not in that kind of position, but how would that make you feel? <laughs> yeah. Imagine. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> it's crazy. Sad. Poor thing. Hope she's, well, I mean, she's a billionaire. 
God, this doesn't affect her at all. No, but your feelings. It doesn't matter about your money. It's she about probably, your feelings. She probably hates her. They probably didn't get along. She probably said something to her. Yeah. They probably just, she posted that thing and no one will see this. Or I, I said, classic mistake. She meant to post it on Close Friends. Oh, uh, maybe. Classic mistake. Yeah. Classic. Who knows? Well, well, you know, one thing that we'll never know is anything. Well, about this. We're and just two idiots in a booth talking yeah. about somebody else's life.